Hello, and welcome to an OraCloud Plus Training as a Service video snippet. Learn to use and configure Oracle's Fusion Cloud applications in minutes, not hours. Hello, and welcome to a quick tutorial that walks through requisitioning within Oracle Cloud, or what we call Fusion, Fusion Cloud applications. So with that, we're going to log into the Demo Central test or seated or pre-configured environments. And so they have a pseudo user, Calvin Roth, he's a procurement manager. And what I've done here is I've just gone and selected the procurement offering, which has all of the different procurement applications or what are also known as functional work areas. So key to what we wanna show is the purchase requisition functional work area. So we're gonna select that. That takes us to the purchase requisition homepage. On this page, there are eight different methods for creating a request or request lines. Seven of those methods terminate here in Fusion. One sends you elsewhere. So let's walk through them quickly. First, a shopping list. This is just either a private or public list that procurement created, a private that you created as a requester, and it just groups item, items together and new employee kits, the obvious one that everybody likes to use as an example. Next up, more tasks. So if you don't have any items, so items are one of the two different ways that, that Fusion will represent negotiated or previously negotiated content, right? The other way is what's called a smart form, okay? And so these are not pre-negotiated. This is when you're going to have non-negotiated content. So I looked for it, searched for it, and when I couldn't find it, I'm going to enter a non-catalog request, that's a subset of fields for the simple requester, or enter requisition line, that's an expanded group of fields for the more uh, learned requester. So one, two methods. Third method, I can search. So this searches through items, local, meaning infusion, punch out, meaning at other vendors that we connect to, also searches through uh, informational items which are pointers and it searches through smart forms we'll talk a little bit more about both of those so that's the third method the fourth method if i know there's a shirt but i don't know if we have red blue, blue green and i want to see all of the shirts or all of the office supplies or all of the office technology i control through all of these different browsing categories to try to help me find the number of items that i'd like to see in mass so it's just a different experience or method of finding items that we would add to our cart. So shopping list, find it, add it to cart. More tasks, you type it in free form, add it to cart. Search, add to cart. Shop by category, add to cart, you get the idea. Now, those are when the cart is in Fusion. If we want to connect to an external supplier, we do so by a punch out, which is what this Amazon link is. We would punch into Amazon, shop, put in our Amazon cart, check out, taking our Amazon cart, sending it to our Fusion cart. Really, this is kind of punch out 101. So that's one, two, three, four, five methods. Six here is top categories where we're just displaying top categories and they can really be any of these different buckets here, either at the highest level, the mid level, the end level, but that's a different way to focus on certain categories. You just click this particular category and just like if you click the shop by category, you'd see all of its contents, okay? So next up, we have request forms. And so these are very similar to this non-catalog where you have free form fields to fill out, but you can also default, lock, keep certain fields open. You can add additional fields. Um, so business card, if you click this, it would show you the business card and maybe it asks you for the name, the title, the phone number, right? So that's just a different way to create content, maybe negotiated previously, may not, depends. If it is previously negotiated, you can attach it to an agreement. So then lastly, number eight is information and tips. So information and tips is the different one here. All of the other ones I mentioned are essentially adding lines to your cart. When you get into information and tips, it is not that. This is a pointer to an external URL. Uh, it could be as simple as a web page in your infrastructure for policy. It could be pointing to a reservation portal. 
but it terminates somewhere else, right? You're not gonna add those to your cart and continue to approval, PO, et cetera. So those are the eight different ways that you can get to both previously negotiated and non-negotiated content and submit that requisition for approval.